<laughs> is there ever going to be an episode that is taking place after Games Ponies Play? Or should I say Games Ponies Day? Uh, or whatever you want to call it. I um, just couldn't remember the top of my head. Well, this new episode actually answered that question, and that is Flight to the Finish. Um, yeah, I cannot um, express in any detail. Um, Flight to the Finish, um, clever name for an episode. I cannot go wrong with that. It's just a clever name with the episode. Um, or should I say for the episode. Um, and I really cannot explain uh, anything in detail. Let's get this over with. Um, okay, so the episode starts off with Miss Charlie introducing Mrs. Harsh winning the head of the uh, pony games and as she uh, explains everything about the uh, pony games uh, she then calls upon uh, Rainbow Dash who is her special guest uh, and and as uh, Rainbow Dash explains uh, what the Phillies and Miss Charlie's uh, class is going to do she then splits up into different teams to uh, come up with a routine to represent each section uh, or should I say in each park uh, in in every single town country or city in, all over Equestria well I gotta say that <clears throat> sorry um well I gotta say uh, the uh, intro um, about Mrs. Harsh Winnie and Rainbow Dash explaining the uh, pony games to Miss Charlie's class is pretty well done. Like, um, like it wants us to recap of uh, what we just missed or try to explain every single detail. So after class is over, uh, the Cutie Mark Crusaders, which consists of Apple Bloom, Voiced by Michelle Kreber. Incredible job, Michelle. Sweetie Belle. Voiced by Claire Collette. And Scootaloo. Voiced by Nagasy Piers. Man, I couldn't remember the other two in my head. If you guys are welcome to uh, pronounce the uh, voice actresses who provide the voices for Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo uh, for me, uh, feel free to comment uh, down below. And uh, as they're walking home from school, um, they decided to come up with a routine that will be centered around Ponyville, um, which centers around to the song Hard Strong as Horses. And at first I would say, well, at least they finally got songs in this season, and you know, I might as well say this, I'm actually a really big fan of the songs in the actual show. In fact, I know. Most people will say that the songs in the show is the imitating way to people get into the girl power, but no, it's actually the exact opposite of that in my opinion. All these songs needed was to be needed and love, which is why everyone in the brewing community keep on saying love and tolerate. In fact, why can't uh, all my reviews uh, be like that? Have everyone love and tolerate them. I think that will be fine. But then after the song, who should appear have a... <coughs> sorry, um. So, uh... <coughs> yes, sorry about that. I just can't talk today. Um. So after the song is over, who should appear to have absolutely no character development since the series began? Well, none other than Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon. Okay, now I know what you guys are thinking. <gasps> Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon? I hate Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon! Yeah, well sorry to break it to you, but... I think Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon are pretty decent characters in my opinion that... hardly show any character development whatsoever. And to the people who really like those two characters, I do apologize if I said that. So the Cutie Mark Crusaders then perform their routine, uh right in front of Rainbow Dash, uh, and they are in, and they did an incredible job, uh, but then uh, Diamond TR and Silver Spoon come up to them, uh, and they were discussing for the fact, uh, 
Did I say disgusting? I mean disgusting about a Scootaloo requiring to fly. Really? Huh. Well, um, apparently, uh, Diamond TR and Silver Spoon just, uh, moved on from calling them blank flakes to talking about Scootaloo, uh, having the ability to fly type of problem. So they decided to, uh, perform the routine a second time, but this time with Scootaloo flying, but it did not go pretty well. Which, obviously enough, resulting in Scootaloo quigging. Whoa. Scootaloo quits? Uh, but I gotta say, in my opinion, that... That almost broke my heart. So, on the... So while they're on their way to the Crystal Empire, um, Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle uh, suddenly felt very sorry for a Scootaloo uh, of what they just said. Um, <coughs> sorry. And Rainbow Dash uh, decided that they should probably get back together and head on down to the Crystal Empire uh, to perform their routine, which they've done a first time, which actually went pretty well. Sorry. Well, I gotta say, in my opinion... Yeah. Well, excuse uh, my uh, voice there. I almost got down with a really bad cold. Yeah, like I... My voice is uh, almost giving in, and I ha almost had a little stuffy nose. Yeah. Yeah, I do apologize for giving that album. But I gotta say, in my opinion... I am very, uh, happy to hear that, uh, they suddenly made up their mind about all of this. Like... Like... Sorry, I uh, can't think in the top of my head. Um, like, they just gone from being apart to getting back together again, so... So, yeah, I cannot describe it in words. Uh, I gotta say, it's really well done. And also, uh, the reprise to the song Heart Strongest Horses is incredible. Just incredible. I, it's almost like I wanted to, uh, believe in the Cutie Mark Crusaders and find out their destinies. Love and tolerate them. Make them join the herd. Um, okay, maybe they are part of the herd, but still, you get the idea. So they finally perform the uh, routine in front of the Crystal Empire, and... <coughs> Sorry. And they have won the, uh... And they've won the, uh, routine competition part of it, and... They'll go ahead to the... Pony Games, uh, Or at least I think it might be called. And Skulu is hoping that, uh, they will possibly, uh... <laughs> Get their QG marks uh, in performing uh, a routine for the uh, Pony Games. Well, when the time comes, we'll find out what their QG marks are. So yeah, um, that was my thoughts on uh, Flight to the Finish. And I gotta say, this episode actually teaches us a very important lesson at the end. And that is, you guessed it, to not listen to Diamond TR and Silver Spoon. Yeah, I mean, if you ever try listening to those two, um, it might go you the wrong way and will send you uh, into deep, deep trouble. So never listen to those two. Um, yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, it actually teaches us to always believe in ourselves and never give up. And as always, uh, there's hope in that. It comes like a, <coughs> sorry, it comes as a nice uh, episode for us all. Oh, and as for a brony like me, I will uh, never give up on my reviews until I get my, uh, <laughs> until I get through the entire season altogether. It is my destiny to complete this entire season, so all in all, Flight to the Finish gets a 3.5 out of 5 in my opinion, and, and let's just hope the next episode will be, uh, <laughs> Incredible to watch. And...
And I think I'm going to take a hit right now. Um, I think they might be uh, parroting the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> so, um, thank you guys for watching my latest review. And I'll see all of you bronies. <coughs> Sorry. And I'll see all of you bronies and Pegasus sisters later. Take care.